Hello, this is Raymond Mayfield. Thank you so much for tuning in to the broadcast today. I want to talk to you from Exodus chapter 3, one really great chapter in the Bible. Moses is now in the wilderness. He's 80 years old. The first 40 years he spent in Egypt in uh, Pharaoh's court, and the next 40 years he spent tending sheep on what the Bible refers to the backside of the desert. Actually, it was Mount Horeb at the base around it. Uh, Exodus 3 and 1 says he came to the mountain of God, even Oreb. It is interesting that Moses is going to be in this location many years later with the children of Israel as they're on their way to the promised land. Exodus 3 and 2 goes on to say, And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of the midst of the bush. Just an observation that I've studied a lot in the Old Testament when it refers to the angel of the Lord. A lot of times, many commentators believe that's the Lord Jesus Christ. But we know he is referred to, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in the flame of fire out of the midst of the bush. And he looked, and behold, and the bush burned with fire, and bush, the bush was not consumed. Moses thought he better go back for a second look and see what this sight is. Never seen anything like this before. What a sight a bush burning must have been. And he went back to look at it the second time. And when he did, God called to him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. Notice that he called him Moses, Moses. He called his name twice. And he said, to the Lord, here I, am, here I am. And God told him to take off his shoes and everything because he was on holy ground. Folks, I want to tell you when God shows up, you are surely on holy ground. Exodus 3 and 6 says, God said, I am the God of thy fathers, Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And God told him, and he heard the cry of his people. God told him he had heard the cry of his people in Egypt. And he says, I have come down to deliver them and to bring them into a good land. You know, God always answers prayer, and they had been praying. They were uh, really mistreated very bad by Pharaoh and the people of Egypt. Uh, they worked them hard and hard, and finally they cried unto the Lord, and God answered their prayer, and he's going to send a man over there by the name of Moses to lead them out. And next, Exodus 3 and 10, God says to Moses, Come now, and I will send thee to Pharaoh to lead my people out. And Moses said, Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh? And God said, I will certainly be with you. And God, if God says, I'm going to be with you, he will be with you. And God says, this is a token. You will serve God on this mountain. And I talked to you a little bit about that before. That's a famous mountain, Mount Oreb. Moses said unto God, when I come to the children of Israel, who do I tell them that send me? And, uh, and uh, God said, tell them in verse 4, I am that I am. Isn't that interesting? Didn't say, uh, tell them that uh, God sent them. Just tell the children of Israel, I am that I am has sent me unto you. In verse number 18, and they shall hearken unto your voice. God goes on to say, I will stretch out my hand and smite Egypt with my wonders, which I will do in your midst. And after, you, after that, they will let you go. It is not going to be easy. We know there's plagues that happened, and they went through a lot before finally Pharaoh would let them go. But God went on to say, I will give this people favor, and they shall spoil the Egyptians. Uh, they'll take all their jewelry and everything they have and everything that belongs to them, and they're going to escape out of that land, and God's going to touch them and bless them, because surely I will be with you and help you. Oh, I tell you, the call of God is a wonderful thing in the life, and thank God for men like Moses has got the call of God on their life, uh, and I thank God that God can deliver us out of difficult situations. Uh, trust God today because he's your Lord and your Savior, uh, and he will be with you today. Thank you very much for listening to this program today.